Hello everybody, I'm Jack Ivey once again live in the studios of WRMG TV 12 and also Television 97. We're going to welcome you back to our political forum and a big thank you to the folks out there in Tishomingo County who've been coming to the rallies. You've also been watching, of course, the interviews on TV 97. You've also been watching it on our YouTube channel. All you got to do is go to YouTube.com, search Jack Ivey, and you'll be able to see not only all the interviews we've done with the candidates, but you'll also be the, able to see all the rallies. And I encourage you to do uh, and watch all those so you know a little bit more about the candidates that you're trying to make a decision on coming up on August the 4th. Well, we're here today with uh, Sheriff Candidate Brian Wheeler. Uh, he's uh, one of the candidates and one of the primary candidates for the sheriff's race in the upcoming election on the 4th. And uh, I'm going to ask him, uh, how's he doing today? And um, how, how's the election going? Mr. Brian Wheeler. Oh, I'm doing well, Jack. Uh, the election's going well, or the race is going well. We're, uh, you know, I run for a justice court judge on the north end uh, before this. Uh, this race right here is uh, countywide. There's a whole lot more ground to cover, uh, a lot more people to meet. Uh, but there is, uh, there's some good people out there, and they've expressed their concerns to me from the north end all the way down to the south end about what we can do to uh, get this county on the right track. I'm running hard, and hopefully the people will get me that opportunity. Sounds good. Brian Wheeler, our special guest here today on the Political Forum. Do me a favor. Uh, when you get through watching this interview, make sure you share it. If you're watching it on YouTube, make sure you share it with all your friends so you'll know a little bit more about Mr. Brian Wheeler. We've got a lot of things we're going to talk about on the interview today. Very important race for Sheriff of Tishomingo County. And Brian, you've been out. Uh, I know you've actually, uh, we happen to not be there that day, but I know you've been out campaigning door to door because you uh, came by our house, and I appreciate you for doing that. What have you uh, found that the citizens of Tishomingo County are more interested in when it relates to the sheriff's race? The, the common theme that I have found during this sheriff's race is that the citizens, you know, are wanting to, you know, wanting the uh, trust restored back into the sheriff's department. Uh, this, uh, you know, you're paying the sheriff of Tishomingo County $90,000 a year to do a job. You're allowing him, you know, to administer about $1.7 million each year. Uh, I recently looked and there's 43 deputies on the payroll for the sheriff's department. Uh, this is outside of the school district. This is the largest uh, personnel pool that we have in the county. The sheriff's budget requires more than any other budget request in the county each year. And this is not only an important position because of the, uh, the money and the personnel, but the uh, sheriff of Tishomingo County is a chief law enforcement officer for the county, and he is also the face of law enforcement for Tishomingo County. So the people have to ask you know, the simple question, if I'm going to pay a man $90,000 a year to do a job, and I'm going to allow him to administer $1.7 million of our taxpayer money, who will I hire to do this job? Now, we live in a very rural county, and we have a lot of good people here in Tishomingo County. Uh, we've got some very smart people here especially when you start getting into their pocketbook. Now, I found out when I've been door-to-door -door knocking, campaigning and stuff, that people did not know that the sheriff received a $20,000 a year raise in the last four years. They also, a bunch of them, did not know that the budget had doubled in the past 12 years. So, there's a lot of things that people uh, have missed out on and are not informed on. And I just want people to understand what's going on. Let me ask you a question. Uh, of course, I know the folks would probably want me to ask this question next. Uh, uh, if you're elected sheriff, how do you propose to get this budget under control that you're referring to? Well, the first thing you have to do, Jack, is you have to look at how we're currently doing the budget. Right now, the sheriff, he goes in before the Board of Supervisors. Uh, he has his present budget, and then he you know, just adds to it. Now, this is just like a lot like compound interest. You have to, uh, or just like borrowing money from a loan shark. You know, you start out owing just a little bit, then over a small period of time, it accrues until you owe twice of what you started out owing. Now, I think we need to do zero-based budgeting. That's where you start out at zero, and then you justify every dollar that you request based on the needs. Now, just because you got the money last year does not mean you are entitled to that money this year. So I think we need to get away from entitlement philosophy of budgeting. Brian Wheeler, our special guest, of course, Brian is a candidate for Sheriff of Tishomingo County. And of course, uh, this is all going up to the big August 4th deadline to see who's going to represent the Democratic Party as their nominee 
uh, for the election, of course, ended up over in November. And of course, Brian Wheeler, our special guest today. Brian, you mentioned earlier about uh, the public confidence uh, in the sheriff of Tishomingo County, or what do you think uh, that you need to do to restore uh, this confidence? Well, in the last few years, Jack, the uh, Tishomingo County Sheriff's Department has received a few black eyes in the media. Uh, I believe one way we're going to start taking care of that is just the way it began. It began one decision, bad decision at a time over a period of time. So what we have to do is make one good decision at a time. Uh, one way you can start fixing it is uh, by the personnel that you hire. You need to hire good people within Tishomingo County that you know can do the job for the citizens that you know, depend on Tishomingo County Sheriff's Department. Uh, a lot of times I know that uh, we brought some guys in from the outside and they don't really know the people here or our culture. But if we bring somebody up that's been raised here and is, and is respected in the community, then we have a center point to start with. Brian Wheeler, our special guest, of course, uh, on the big race coming up. And I know, Brian, you've been extra, extra busy. We've uh, seen each other uh, every Saturday for the last several Saturdays. And, of course, it's all winding down out of the political rallies. And, uh, you know, we've got some folks out there, I'm sure, that's probably made their mind up a long time ago who they're going to vote for. But uh, I think uh, a lot of folks can still be uh, swayed a little bit. There may be a still several undecided voters out there. Maybe you're still trying to make a decision on who you want to be your next sheriff. Maybe uh, you hadn't made that decision yet. What would be your advice today to the undecided voters who will vote in the race coming up on the 4th? I would ask that the uh, voters do what is called a five-minute test. When you see us out here knocking on doors, if you see us in a restaurant, or if you see us getting gas, uh, or if you see us knocking door to door, just pull over and just take five minutes to talk with each of us about what you feel the concerns are for Tishomingo County. And then you and you uh, get through talking to all these candidates, and if you find out that you've got uh, more confidence in one, then that's the one that you need to go with. Because, like I stated earlier, this is an important position. This man is going to make $90,000 a year, and he's going to administer $1 about $1.7 million of your taxpayer money, and you've got to have confidence in that man. And he is going to, at this moment in time, he's going to employ <clears throat> about 43 people that's on the payroll when I looked uh, the other day. So there is a big, there is a lot of, I don't know the word I'm really looking for, Jack, but there's a lot that's riding on this race because of the shape that we're in at this moment in time. Uh, we've got to have confidence in the man that you elect so that's the things, you know, that we need to be, be considering. Big decision. Yes, sir. You know, we've got to look further than just someone who gets up here on Saturday before a crowd and gives the same speech that he's give, you know, for the past few months. You know, we've got to look past all the pretty signs, you know, with a lot of colors on them. I mean, there is, there is more riding on this election than just some of those small things. I think you made the statement, signs don't vote. Is that what you said? Signs, signs don't vote. And, of course, the people do, and that's you. And, of course, uh, tell you what you need to do. You need to make your plans right now to be available to go vote on August the 4th. I know Brian and all the other candidates uh, that really believe in uh, what we should believe in, we, we need everybody to go out and vote. The country's in a pretty tough situation right now, and it could be in that situation because we've all been lax about going out and voting and we've messed around and let a lot of folks get in elected offices on a national scale that, uh, that shouldn't be there. So. But uh, if you don't get out and vote, you can't complain, right? Exactly. Can't complain. Brian Wheeler, our special guest here on the Political Forum. And Brian, I want to say how much I appreciate you coming on and uh, look forward to uh, seeing you on election night. I know that Tishomingo County Courthouse is going to be full with all the candidates. A uh, little nervousness going on down there. We'll be down there broadcasting live that night, election returns. Mm -hmm. So if you got some friends out of town, we'll have it where they can listen to the returns right there live. And if we can get a good enough uh, signal as far as uh, internet speed and all that stuff, we're actually going to stream it live video too as well. And uh, so we're hoping that will be good enough. If the worst case scenario, I'm going to have it where they can uh, listen to it on uh, TV. They can also listen to it on the cell phone anywhere in the world. They can listen to the election returns 
and we'll not really be concerned about what's happening in Jackson and around the other state. We'll, we'll be concerned about what's happening in Tishomingo County. So that should be pretty neat, right? Yeah, it should, Jack. And we'll sure have should. the old wireless mic down there, and we'll probably talk to several candidates that uh, are in the courtroom down there for election returns. And um, Ryan, you know, always uh, and have, I know you've been on the forum before and, uh, you know, always give you an opportunity to ask for the folks. I know you've said you've done your best to get in front of everybody, but you, I know you've missed a lot of folks because it's, oh, yes. it's hard to do it, but you've left uh, door hangers here and there. And uh, I'm going to give you an opportunity to look at the folks at home and ask for the vote today. Mr. Brian Wheeler, who wants to be your next sheriff of Tishomingo County. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I am Brian Wheeler and I am sitting here before you today to ask for, <coughs> excuse me, to ask for your vote and your support. I know that uh, people need to have confidence in their next sheriff because they're looking for not only somebody who can wear a badge and ride around the car, but they're looking for someone who can rein that budget in and keep their taxes from increasing just because the sheriff's budget continues to grow. And they're also looking for someone who can keep their county safe and their communities. So I'm gonna ask that you would support me and give me a strong consideration. If it's a toss up between me and someone else, please look at me. I will do what I can to keep you, your family safe, keep your taxes down, and do the best job that I possibly can. Thank you. Sounds good. Mr. Brian Wheeler, our special guest here on the political forum. And of course, I never did brag on your sign, but uh, it's got wanted Brian Wheeler for sheriff. You've seen these out. Uh, did you design that? Well, that come from uh, another lady, but uh, she heard people talking and she said, you know, she heard them say, we want you to run for sheriff. We want you to be our sheriff. You know, and uh, when she heard that, you know, in that general conversation that we were in, she come up with that. She said, hey, looky here. Here's Sorry. what we can do. Sounds good. Wanted uh -huh. Brian Wheeler Sheriff, Tishomingo County. If you want that to happen, uh, it's up to you folks. August the 4th is election day. Make sure you make your plans now uh, to get out and vote for and elect Brian Wheeler as your next sheriff of Tishomingo County. I want to say thanks to Denise on the controls. Mr. Brian Wheeler, our special guest, tell the family hello. And uh, we'll see you out on the campaign. Are you going to be campaigning all the way up till about uh, mm. election time on uh, the 4th, right? I will be there probably knocking on doors 7.30 Monday night, August the 3rd. That sounds and uh, I'll be out uh, on that election day, you know, trying to see people, you know, see who's voting, who is not, uh, trying to get them out there, you know, sounds, it's your right. Sounds good. We appreciate you, Mr. Brian. Denise, thank you, and thank you for watching. Don't forget YouTube.com, search Jack Ivey, and you'll be able to watch this interview, plus all the other rallies that we've been to as well. I'm going to get out of here and uh, make room for some more interviews. Thanks for joining us here today, and we'll see you next time right here on the Political Forum. Y'all have a great day.